Zoga, Audio Masters, Learning Center, and AudioMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 21st question from the Digital SAT Test 1, Module 2. It's from the Blue Book app, the harder set of math questions. There were 21 reads for groups of 25 or more. We usually only charge us $21 per person for the first 25 people and $14 for each additional person. Which function F gives the total charge in dollars for a tour group with N people where N is greater than or equal to 25? So what I recommend you do here is you can pick numbers. And I think a safe number to pick would be 26 because then you're engaging those first 25 and then you're also getting that one additional. So what would you do in order to get this? Well, first it says $21 per person for the first 25 people. So it's gonna be 21 times 25 and then $14 for each additional person. So we've got one additional person more than 25. So it's just gonna be plus 14. So what you could do is you just plug that right into Desmos and see what you get as your result. You get 539. So that equals 539. Now we go to our answer choices. In place of N, we would put that 26 and we'd eliminate anything that doesn't give us 539. Only in Desmos, what I recommend you do is you change the N to an X. And then you can see what the Y value is which is your f of n, same thing, when you plug that 26 in for x. So if we go to Desmos, one good feature of Desmos is you could just copy the previous thing. There's a simple way to do it. Thanks, Susan Powers, um, for the heads up on that. Answer choice A and answer choice B and answer choice D are the same. They just have different y-intercepts. So I could just put the first one and then paste the other two, 5, 25, and 21. So check it out. So we've got this first one, and we don't even see it. We gotta zoom out and see what it would be where your X is here. Um, you know what, that's 100, that's 50. So 25 is gonna be around here. And it looks like it's reasonable that it would be around 500. So let's take a peek. The other y-intercepts there are 525 and 21. Um, if you were to go here, now you might just look at it and know that it's wrong, but if I go here, boom. I could just copy what I said previously. Actually, I copied the wrong thing now. I gotta be in that field apparently. Hit copy there. Now, I just make it 525. And you can see that that crosses way too. It's uh, further up. And then I could also do the same. Copy that, make it 21. And that 21, now look, the, chain, the color's the same. If I hold this down, make it blue. Now I can see it's over here. Around here, that's gonna cr cross too early. And we've got one more equation that we've got to plug in there, which is 35x minus 350. And now you can see that that one is black, and that one even goes straighter up. That's even further up. It's hard to see through this mess of equations. One, another thing that you could do is now that I have this equation, it looks like that's my right answer. I can plug in exactly f of 26, and boom, you do have your 539. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has difficulty, so you can see this, I can't see it. You can share it with someone who has difficulty with function questions. If there are any questions you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, Leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Check out that one minute video on TikTok.